Oh, hello! My name is Mara, and welcome to Books Like Whoa. So, I think we have officially wrapped up 2018. It only took a month, whatever, no big. Um, so I think we are now ready to fully blaze into 2019. So I did want to come and kind of talk to you guys about some of the thoughts I have about resolutions for this year. Some of these resolutions are kind of in the forms of specific TBR or like book things I want to get through and I'm going to break those out into separate videos. But in terms of like bigger goals for the year, I did have some in terms of reading and then I did have some in terms of this channel. So I don't know, we'll see how long this actually ends up being. But I did, I liked having a record of what I wanted to do from 2018 to go back and look at. So I wanted to do that for 2019 as well. Um, so yeah, let's just dive into some of my 2019 book and booktube related resolutions. Let's start with the books. So the two things that I'm going to break out into their own videos is that I do have a goal that I want to read I, want, I have 12, a list of 12 classics and I want to read at least six, if not nine of those 12 classics this year. So I will have a separate video telling you about that. And then I also am gonna do a 19 books I wanna read in 2019 as a separate thing. So those are two sort of like TBR type goals that I have for 2019. So we'll see how I do with that because you guys know that I'm quite the mood reader. So I'm hoping that I've given myself enough variety that I could, you know, make some reasonable progress on those two kind of TBRs. So aside from that, um, my first goal is that I want to read no more than 200 books. And what I mean by that is that so in 2018, and I haven't totally finished tabulating what the stats were, but I read, well, if you included rereads, I read more than 300 books in 2018. New books, I think was probably, I forget, I think it's like 260, 270, somewhere around there. That's a lot of books. And I have a problem, a problem, like I just have, I've noticed in myself that I really like to focus on things that I can read in one or two sittings and get through pretty quickly, which means that I read a lot of like, 300 ish page books 300 350 page books which means that they're they're pretty easy to get through uh in an evening so let's say i mean i read mm, 60 to 100 pages an hour depending on how hard the book is so i could easily read a 300 page book in an evening a three or even a 350 page book in an evening depending on kind of the difficulty level of it so i do that a lot that's sort of like my default comfort mode in terms of reading so that means I get through a lot of books. So I my minimum is always I want to read at least 100 books in a year. But this year, I want to focus on trying not to read more than 200. Because I think if I can stay under 200, that means that I am reading a better variety of books, and not just staying in my safety zone of like things that I can get through in one night. With that in mind, that leads into my kind of secondary goal, which is that I want to read more classics in like bigger weightier books, which I kind of alluded to in some of my 2018 goals. And I did I definitely did better with that in 2018 than I had the previous couple of years. Because I think when I got out of grad school, I just like had a couple of years where I was like, I don't want to have to read anything difficult. <laughs> I don't have to read anything. I mean, because you know, I read a lot of philosophy and stuff in grad school. I don't want to have to read any of that. I just want to keep it really light and and kind of fluffy. That was I needed that that was good. And in 2018, I sort of kind of ramped up some of the intensity level of what I was reading, particularly in nonfiction. Um, I was Ta tackling a lot more kind of challenging nonfiction than I had been in 2017. But for 2019, I want to focus on tackling some of the like bigger weightier fiction things that I have historically enjoyed reading but had kind of gotten away from in the course of going to grad school and then having to sort of detox from grad school. So I want to read more classics, see my goal about reading at least six, if not nine this year. And then I also there's, you know, just some bigger books on my TBR that I want to finally try to tackle like N.K. Jemisin's The Fifth Season. I think that's a book I'd like to read this year. And I've been putting it off because I know that it's a more challenging read, basically, and it will take more time. But I think especially if I keep reminding myself that volume is not king, and I don't always just have to finish a book in one or two sittings. I think I'll be able to kind of lean into reading some of those bigger things. And I definitely want to do that this year. That being said, one of my goals in terms of specific books to read, so I guess this is another kind of TBR one, but I do want to make a goal to catch up with the In Death series this year. So if you've been following my channel, you know that I've been reading the In Death series for about a year and a half or two years now. It's like 
45 or 50 books long at the moment and it's still going. I am roughly 20 books in, 25-ish books in. So I'm about halfway caught up, but I really want to catch up with that this year. So I think I want to focus on maybe that being my lighter end stuff. And in the scheme of things, it's actually pretty well written commercial fiction. So it's not the lightest of the light. So that's another way in which I think I'm kind of like upping even my palette cleansing type books, letting them be a little more challenging or a little longer or whatever. Anyway, I just want to catch up with that series so that I can get to the point where I'm just enjoying the new releases as they come out. Another thing I want to do this year that I meant to do in 2018 and didn't get to, if you saw my resolutions I didn't didn't keep video last week. Um, I did not have a month where all I did was read from my library wish list, which is what I wanted to do in 2018. So yes, in 2019, I want to pick a month and essentially purely mood read off of my library wish list based on what's available. So I hope I can pick I don't know when I would do that. But I would like to try to pick a month to do that. Um, and just like kind of let myself get through some things that I've, you know, over the years put on my library wish list and uh, see if that wish list is, you know, how well curated it is basically. Like how how free am I clicking and adding things to it? I think also just reminding myself that I don't always just have to put holds at the library, that like at any given point, there's a lot of books that I would probably enjoy reading that are available to read right in that minute from my library. And finally, uh, in terms of book, buying my last sort of book related one, my book buying goal is to focus on acquiring books in my collections that I want. And that be really primarily what I'm doing with book buying. So um, in 2018, I had, you know, my, my father passed away late in the summer. And in the fall, I kind of went on a book buying craze, because that's like one of the things I do when I'm getting through things like some people go shopping for other things. But for me, it's books, like that's sort of a comfort default. And um, I don't regret any of that, because like it wasn't out of my means. And it was all books that I wanted. But that being said, I was kind of looking around, especially because I'm going to be moving shortly. So like, I want to kind of push the brakes in terms of before I move, not acquiring too many books. But also, I just have a lot of books right now on my TBR that I really want to read. And if I'm always buying new ones, it's harder for me to get to those books that I do genuinely really want to read. So I'm going to focus like new book acquisitions in the collections that I am building. Um, my Penguin Clothbound one is pretty is coming up on being done. But there's a few other ones I have. So you know, on that, on um, used bookstore finds, like using my trade and, and buying things that way, you know, some of the new releases that will come out this year that I want to read right away. So some of that. And then you know, if I, I try to take the money that I get from any ads from YouTube, it's not a lot, but like, you know, 100 bucks here and there and, and you know, use that money maybe to buy some new things for my TBR. But overall, just sort of like, calming down and focusing like kind of refocusing where my acquisitions and my physical TBR are because you know, every time I move, I have that moment of like, God, this is a lot of books to have to curate. But also, you know, I don't want to like, I have so many things already that I want to read. And I don't want to distract myself too much by always just having new things coming in and kind of getting uh, distracted by things that I have had on my TBR for a really long time. So all that to say, both from like a space perspective, I'm going to be buying a bunch of furniture and stuff. So saving a little bit of money, and also trying to have a year where I'm trimming back my physical TBR or making my way through my physical TBR. I think by specifically thinking of my book buying primarily in terms of the collections, I think that will help me do all of those things. Okay, and then moving into booktube, I really just have three goals. So one, Mission Marple is starting soon, I think. By the time you're seeing this, I think the first one will be going up on Friday. And so that's going to be happening. And so I want to focus on doing that well. I created a Goodreads group and I've never really tried to moderate something like that before. So like my goal is to learn how to do that okay. And uh, you know, it's a bunch of Agatha Christie nerds. So I'm assuming everybody's gonna be pretty chill and it will not be like a crazy project for me to moderate this. But like, you know, I, I want to try to make sure that I'm doing that well and learning how to be a moderator. So that's one goal I have. The second goal is I want to think through how I can improve some of the more technical aspects of my booktube video making. So like, I'm considering like maybe investing in better editing software and maybe like taking some classes learning how to do that or like doing some online tutorials or whatever, learning how to like be a better editor, thinking through how to improve some of the sound quality issues I've been having, some of the lighting issues I've been having, generally like becoming a more proficient video maker. I want to kind of think through if there are things that I can or should be investing time or money into doing that. And then finally, I would really like 
to see if I can do some more scripted or like video essay type content. I have one specific idea and I'm still doing reading for it. So I'm not quite sure where that might go, but like that is something I would really like to do. And I'm kind of sitting on and thinking through if I can find a way to do that and if I have enough time to do that. So um, that's something I'm intrigued about the idea of, but I'm, I'm letting that percolate a little bit more, but that might be something I, I at least want to explore that in 2019. How about that? I want to think through if that would be something doable for me. And if so, um, kind of what that would look like, because I'm not totally sure right now. That was very vague because I don't, <laughs> I don't want to give anything away in terms of like saying like, oh, I'm going to do this thing and then not do it. But um, just know that that's something I'm sort of thinking through. And I guess you guys can let me know if you're interested in that idea. But Anyway, that may be coming in 2019. So yeah, as I have been kind of taking stock in my reading life and in my booktubing life, those are some of the things that I kind of, I foresee on the horizon of 2019. We will see what comes to pass. I think every year, you know, the old saying, we make plans and God laughs. I think at the beginning of every year, we may have ideas about what will or won't happen, but like, we will see what happens in 2019, who even knows. But all that to say, uh, definitely let me know if you have any bookish or booktube related goals in 2019. And uh, let me know what you think about any of this in the comments below. And besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please like, subscribe, follow me on the social medias if you are so inclined. I have all that information listed in the description box below. And I think that will do it. I hope you're having a really lovely day and I will just talk to you soon. Bye.